Hi everyone, Judge Andrew Napolitano here for Judging Freedom. Today is Monday, September 12, 2022. It's about five o'clock in the afternoon here on the East Coast of the United States, two o'clock in the afternoon on the West Coast, where our next guest and my dear friend and our regular weekly medical expert, Dr. Joel Wallach is standing by today to discuss high blood pressure and metabolic syndrome, what they are, how you get it, how it's been misdiagnosed by the medical community, and how you can address it by supplementing uh, your diet. Dr. Wallach, always a pleasure, my dear friend. Welcome back to the show. Well, thank you, Your Honor. As you did a fabulous job of uh, explaining what uh, metabolic syndrome is. Uh, cannot thank you enough for the opportunity to share with your followers. Uh, because you are the man, okay, and <laughs> you have such credibility and uh, well, such well, connections. You, your your uh, partnership with us uh, on Judging Health, which okay. is a website that you created for our, our audience to gain access to the vitamins and supplements uh, that you have prepared for them, uh, has enhanced our credibility, and we're deeply grateful. So what is blood uh, high blood pressure, uh, other than your blood pressure is too high? What causes yeah. it? What is metabolic syndrome and why has it been misdiagnosed? Okay, well, metabolic syndrome uh, came on to the human population um, <clears throat> after the advent of electricity. Uh, when we went from uh, using wood and coal as fuel and had to deal with the ashes, uh, the ashes, of course, we put into the garden and they were like 98% minerals and 2 or 3% carbon. And that was for both the wood ashes and the the um, ashes from coal. And at three o'clock in the afternoon, Your Honor, three o'clock in the afternoon, Monday, September 4th, 1882, on Pearl Street in New York City, in the bluff overlooking the construction of the Brooklyn Bridge, Thomas Edison pulled the switch on the first commercial electric generating plant. And within 18 years, we were, we were in big trouble. By the year 1900, the obesity rate was just skyrocketing. And uh, doctors would say, stop eating animal fat, eat more whole grains. And then they started eating gluten, more wheat, barley, rye, and oats. And it made it even worse because the gluten was damaging the intestines. They couldn't absorb minerals or they weren't getting minerals anyway because they weren't getting the wood ashes anymore. And so they got a double hit. And so that's basically the beginning of this. And after a while, um, there's one new disease after the other. And doctors combined obesity, diabetes, and high blood pressure, those three things, into what they call the metabolic syndrome. And they blamed it on people's genes. That's your genes doing that, okay? Your bad genes, okay? Blamed it on the patient because they didn't know how to deal with it. And um, right now, um, the metabolic syndrome is still going crazy. 40% um, of Americans are obese. 18% are severely obese. 43% of males or uh, in the obese range, 41.9% of females. Obesity is defined as over 25% of your ideal weight for your height and age, okay? And the cause of obesity uh, in the metabolic syndrome is just simple nutritional deficiency diseases causing a behavior called pica. Pica um, is people, you know, would say, I I'm just hungry all the time. I have these cravings, you know, like pregnant women would say, oh, man, I crave this. I have to eat two pints of ice cream every hour. I'm craving yeah. it. Well, that's because she was deficient in minerals and her body's saying, eat stuff, find those minerals. And so that's where that um, uh, kind of behavior came from. All right, let's focus, let's focus on high blood pressure. Okay. What, okay. what causes this high blood pressure? How dangerous is it? And what's the best way to alleviate it? Okay, well, high blood pressure... Um, you know, is where your blood pressure is higher than clinically acceptable. Okay, clinically acceptable, you want your blood pressure to be something like um, 80 over 50 kind of thing. That's what I like is 80 over 50. Um, and some people on mine, I, because, you know, I'm athletic, my, my blood pressure goes like uh, 60 over 40, which is okay. Okay. And so, you know, when you get over 100, 110, you're, you're in the high blood pressure range. So even some people would be defined as high blood pressure over 90. They're, they're at the top number over 90, 90 over 70. That would be high blood pressure. <clears throat> and so uh, what, what does that mean? Does that mean that the heart is pushing the blood 
through the uh, arteries and veins with more pressure? Is it literally pressure or is that just a term that the medical community uses? No, that's a term the medical uh, um, group uses, but you have to appreciate your blood system is a closed system. Right. Okay. It's not open on any end to let stuff in. It's not open on the other end to let stuff out. It's kind of a circular system and the heart is in the middle of it, um, pumping the oxygenated blood to other parts of the body. And by pressure from the, the heart pushing the oxygenated blood into the arteries, the veins are passively bringing back the blood that doesn't have much oxygen and the pressure is lower. So that's, that's the circuit. Okay. And um, every mammal, of course, has the same um, system, heart. And when, when you get blocked arteries, you begin to have really problems. Uh, because as you have blocked arteries, your heart's working harder and harder and harder because your body's calling for the oxygen. Hey, hey, don't forget me. And so your heart begins to pump harder and you get uh, congestive heart failure. The heart gets bigger because it's working so hard and it becomes inefficient because the blood vessels are getting clogged as well. Uh, not by cholesterol. That was a big mistake the doctors made. They falsely believed that cholesterol was what was clogging your arteries. No, that's not true. What was clogging your arteries was the um, uh, cooking with oils, oxidized oils, that kind of stuff, salad dressings. That's what was causing the problems with clogged arteries. And once, you know, once they came up with uh, statin drugs to lower cholesterol, we really got into trouble. Um, cholesterol makes up 25% of the brain weight. Cholesterol makes up 25% of the spinal cord weight. Cholesterol makes up 95% of the weight of testosterone. Cholesterol makes up 95% of the weight of estrogen. So it's a very important substance. It's called myelin. It's the white matter of the brain. But let's made, get back to let's get back to high blood pressure. Why do okay. some people have it and some don't? Okay. Well, people who eat more correctly, okay, don't get high blood pressure. Staying away from the fried foods, the oxidized oils, and that kind of stuff. So they're not getting damage done. It's the, kind of like the the biological equivalent of rust, where oxygen is rusting iron. Okay. And when you get oxidized oils, it causes inflammation on the lining of your arteries. And you, you put scar tissue in there to try and protect yourself. And that's what causes blockages of the arteries. And once the blockage of the arteries occur, the pressure goes up because the heart has to work much harder to get that ah. blood flowing past the blockages. Okay. okay. So what, what does the medical community uh, do about that? And what do you say should be done about that? Okay, well, the medical community says, oh, this is a genetic thing. You know, your parents had it, somebody in your family had it, and they passed it on to you, or it's an autoimmune thing. Your body's attacking itself. And I can give you drugs to lower your cholesterol. I can give you drugs to lower your blood pressure, but you'll be on these drugs forever. Ooh. I think we lost you. Did you lose me? Oh, uh, no, you're back now. Uh, okay. The last thing, the last yeah, thing we yeah, did yeah, say yeah, was yeah. you'll be on these drugs forever. Mm -hmm. Okay. And say, and they tell you, you'll be on these drugs forever. And, you know, we get people who run these drugs for 25, 30, 40 years, and then they die because they really haven't solved the problem. Uh, and, of course, um, we like to um, have people eat three eggs twice a day so they're getting cholesterol. We want them to get cholesterol so they don't have this problem. And then uh, we want them to use our, uh, in addition to the 90 essential nutrients, in addition to the um, – uh, the healthy brain and heart pack, okay, the 90 essential nutrients, which everything, including your heart needs, it's actually in the title of the, uh, the name of the uh, of the, f the food supplement, the healthy brain and heart pack. Um, once you have that, you also need to have uh, the, the arteries dilate and open up and allow the blood to flow through it. So we have what we call the healthy, um, excuse me, the ultimate daily classic tablets, ultimate daily classic tablets. And they will support healthy blood flow through blocked arteries, and um, I take three of those twice a day. Everybody should be taking three of those twice a day. I only weigh 142. And um, it's one of those things between the Ultimate Daily Classic Tablets, the Healthy Brain and Heart Pack, 
Uh, also, the MSM, which is uh, for the collagen and the walls of the arteries and the valves and the heart and so on. So, so you're, you're telling us that the supplements that you have uh, put together will relax the pressure in the arteries and open them up and allow the brain, allow the heart to operate at its normal rate. And the result is a reduction in blood pressure. That's correct. You get a reduction in blood pressure. And um, uh, it's one of those things where it freaks the, the medical community out because they can't believe it because they get taught in school that it's a genetic thing. All right. So folks who want to go to judginghealth.com should get the healthy body packs, which you can see right there. Yeah. They should get the healthy heart. Well, well, there's two packs, two main packs, the healthy start pack, which is this basic one. Okay. And then we have the healthy brain and heart pack, which is the big one. And the healthy brain and heart pack has 215 nutrients in it. The healthy start pack has 90, the basics. Got it. Okay. Got it. Huh. And so, How many people uh, in America are stuck taking uh, drugs, which are not, which are going to mask the symptoms of uh, high blood pressure? but not cure it. Okay. If they're not on the longevity system, the healthy brain and heart pack and the ultimate daily classic tablets, they're going the wrong direction. Okay. And so we're talking about 75% of, of Americans are susceptible to high blood pressure and blocked arteries. 75% of Americans, um, people who become vegetarians think, well, if I become a vegetarian and don't eat cholesterol, I won't have those problems. But they get blocked arteries and they get high blood pressure. Yeah, we lost you. There you go. Now you're okay. back. Last thing we heard you say was that um, vegetarians get high uh, blood pressure as well. That's correct because they fry vegetables, they use oils for cooking, and they use oils for salad dressing, which oxidize. So they're still getting damaged the arteries, but they think since they've given up red meat and given up uh, animal fat, they're giving up cholesterol. And they still believe the doctor's misinterpretation that the clogged arteries are caused by cholesterol consumption. That's not true. Now, what about metabolic syndrome? That's high blood pressure, obesity, and what And diabetes. Else? And diabetes. Okay, Those three. We, we have discussed obesity uh, and, uh, and diabetes as well. Yeah, exactly. And they're, they're both easily resolved. And so our program is the healthy brain and heart pack. You take the uh, healthy brain and heart pack. You also take the, um, uh, um, let's see here, the MSM you take, which is for the connective tissue in the arteries and veins and so forth. You also are going to take the uh, sweeties for the diabetes, and you're going to take the Ultimate Daily Classic for the high blood pressure. You're going to take the Keto Shake one meal a day. It's a meal replacer, the Keto Shake, and you'll lose a half a pound of two pounds a day. So you get rid of the obesity, you'll get rid of the high blood pressure, and you'll get rid of the diabetes. None of them right. are genetic. None of them are autoimmune. All three are easily gotten rid of, which freaks doctors out because they don't believe it. <laughs> Doctor, you've been freaking doctors out for your entire <laughs> career, and you've been helping your uh, patients along. So, my dear Judging uh, Freedom friends, you can go to Judging Health, and you can get all these materials. Uh, and if you need some help, you can obviously get some folks there who know exactly what Dr. Wallach's products are uh, and help you uh, customize themselves for you. Uh, Dr. Joe Wallach, always a pleasure. We'll pick a topic. Uh, and we'll have you explain it for us uh, next week, just like you do here every week. Well, thank you so much, Your Honor. You're an angel of God. I cannot tell you how. Judge Napolitano for Judging Freedom.